Xbox One was a, a fantastic new adventure for us here in the Xbox. And so for us, the design journey really started looking at the past. So we looked at the original Xbox, we looked at the 360, and we asked ourselves, what is it that we wanted the expression of Xbox One to be about? We considered a lot of different things, uh, but it was very important for us to understand our heritage, our past 13 years of history on Xbox, uh, with a re really rich uh, history on gaming. We started back in 2010, late 2010, and we got the team together and, and really had fun. So at the beginning, we created a number of concepts, and then we start really refining those ideas. We want to see what is that, the face of Xbox, how does it work with the content, how does it really communicate the expression of, of the new entertainment system for Xbox. We're thinking about all of the raw power, all the processing, all of the capability that our new console product had to offer. Uh, and then we also thought about things like uh, our customers' environments, where we wanted this product to go. Uh, what we wanted to look like in their environment. And uh, we took all of those things, um, and throughout the design process, we came up with hundreds of different concepts, really, and it evolved into where we are now with our current product, the Xbox One. We had to think about how to make it very simple. And that was one of our key principles. So when you look at the, the front of the new console, or when you look at the new Kinect sensor, there's amazing technology that goes inside, but we wanted to really present it to people in a very simple, uh, intuitive and approachable way. When you have amazing technology uh, that is invisible and designed so simple uh, that it becomes delightful, we believe that true magic comes. Uh, people don't have to know all these crazy rocket science that happens in the background, but when the camera recognizes you and surfaces an experience that is crafted for you, it's an amazing payoff. And that's what simplicity is all about, invisible technology uh, that de delivers uh, simple experiences for you. There's a holistic approach to our design language. So you see a lot of details within the console, within the sensor product, and even in the controller that really tie elements that are happening in the UI and the software. You look at the tiles, you look at the way the content is presented uh, on screen. And a lot of those details are reflected in what's happening on the console. You see the different panels, uh, the way that the very front of the console is a very clean, flat, rectilinear shape. We did that on purpose. We wanted those details to reflect what's happening on screen and really have that be a reflection of the content and the elements that are happening within the user interface. We put a lot of time into developing a, a special color. We call it liquid black. And it's the blackest black that we could achieve in an injection molded resin. And it's uses, it uses organic pigments. It has a, a really good ability to be a deep and rich black. And so, for example, we take the Xbox logo and we suspend it in this sea of liquid black that really creates a magical presentation of Xbox in the living room. We, we looked at the color materials and finishes. We look at the overall form, the, the proportions. We have a whole design language that's about uh, the 16 by 9 ratio of entertainment. And we use matte and gloss finishes. There's a number of things that we put into that personality and the design language to create a really new and fresh expression of Xbox. It was really important that establish a clear relationship with the rest of our partners, Windows Phone and Windows 8 particularly. So our system is based on tiles. It's a similar approach uh, to the way that our partners have de uh, defined. The difference is our point of view is unique for entertainment. We wanted to make sure that content is forward, the things that you care about, and really easy access to the things that, uh, that people care about was a fundamental part of how we delivered the experiences. On the Kinect sensor, we really show the RGB camera, and that's a, a focal point. All of the other types of sensors are essentially behind this lens, and we used a three-layer process in creating this front lens to make it feel like part of the television. It feels like an optical, high-grade, high-definition lens, so it fits in with the living room. On the controller products, there are tons of small micro details that really enhance the gameplay. It looks like a relatively similar shape to the previous controller, but if you look on the back, what we've done is a, a huge improvement. We removed the battery bump. You know, everyone has their own different grip of using our controller, and now they have the freedom really to grip this controller the way they want to. We've integrated the bumpers and triggers all together, so it's one unified shape. You know, they're shaped to be naturally contoured to the way that people's fingers are shaped. We have a new feature we're calling impulse triggers. 
So now there is a small motor in each of these triggers. It allows us to have feedback. So let's say you're playing a racing game, you can get brake fade, you can get acceleration, you can get feel of what's happening on screen right in your hands, right underneath the triggers. When I started working in this product, it was pretty amazing the possibilities of combining two things that I'm truly passionate about, design and technology. The combination of art and science has been something that has been extremely important and exciting for me. How do you create beauty through these amazing algorithms and all amazing, this amazing technology like Kinect? So to me, it's pretty amazing to see the energy, the collaboration that has happened between all these different teams and the amount of effort and attention to detail that has been um, taken care of uh, through the development of this process. It's pretty amazing. We call it boldly understated. The 50-50 split, the language that we use that's based on a 16 by 9 cinematic experience, it says a lot about games, it says a lot about entertainment, and it really says a lot about a high quality, performance, powerful system that goes into your home.